Hey yo together and very welcome to the Stock of Two Crazy Replays today on Terraform Letter Edition with a TVZ. Oh yeah, TVZ is good, TVZ is awesome, TVZ is fun. And uh, this one should be very good. We have spawning in the left top position, playing for himself, it's the Blue Zerg Van Fliese. And he's playing against me, spawning in the right bottom position. It's the Red Terran Alex Sasher. Oh yeah, I was very tired that morning. <laughs> uh, happens. And there we go. Supply Depot. Super awesome. That's, that's, that's really cool. So, what do we have? We have a Supply Depot. We have an Overlord moving out on the map. And so far... Nothing crazy happened. I wonder, I, I really wonder why a third player on that map are not going for a gold base against Terran. Against Protoss I see this more often, against Zerg mm, rarely, but against Terran never. And I wonder why this is the case. Because on like Overgrowth, which was not a similar map, but with the distance I would say from the gold base, it was more quite equal, I would say. You saw that more often, and somehow not not on that map. And I wonder why that is the case. I, I don't know because against Protoss you see it sometimes. No, not not super often, like 50% of the games. But yeah, all eight to ten games it happens once in tournaments more often, I would say, on that map. So, yeah, but why not against Terran? That's, that's one thing I just don't know. So for one fleece we have a spawning pool and a hatchery. Pool behind the hatch. And for me, of course, the Reaper. I don't know yet, because I have another build order in TVC. Uh, I still don't know if it was Pult or 4 g one of both. Uh, opened with uh, Heavy Hellion, Hellbat, uh, Marine Aggression. And we will see, if I'm producing a second Reaper, then it's the typical normal 3cc BO. But oh no, look at that. For now it's just one Reaper. Ah, there we go. Instant Reactor. It will be spotted by, by this Overlord. So he knows what's going on. And he should prepare already for something weird. We, can, we are getting the command center at the high ground. And the Reaper makes its way towards the natural and then of course jumps into the main and sees gasless opening okay and that can be difficult to deal with because gasless opening can mean can mean roaches and roaches are quite good against hellions so yeah I scout everything see wait a second no gas try to micro the reaper my reaper micro is really not that good uh, and circlings are fast they are Almost as fast, 3.75, and they are almost as fast as the Reaper, I would say. Uh, maybe, oh, let me check it. Okay, I will take out the calculator, because I'm not good at calculating and casting at the same time. Uh, 2.95 plus 0 0.88. Yeah, okay, so circling, slow circlings are on creep faster than the Reaper. Just a little bit. But they are a bit faster, so... Oh! 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 Wh what is this barracks doing? What the heck? Well, I got Overlord killed, but... Whoa! <laughs> okay. Interesting. So that's... Uh, okay. I have no clue why... Alright. That's super... Okay. The floating the barracks like that is not super standard, but... It's not the heavy Hellion aggression I'm playing. I, I guess I abandoned that plan because I saw gasless opening and yes there is the roach swarm. So I can I can go for that. That's it's it's good that I'm seeing this replay again. Because in the last couple of times oh and there goes the scanner and I see the roach swarm. Oh perfect. Uh, because in the last couple of time I always I always went for the double factory hellbed marine pressure. Even though he went for roaches, and I didn't deal too much damage, and the transition was so difficult. And now seeing me going for, yeah, okay, I see gasless, then I can go 5 command center, 1 reaper, it's, it's fine, because you can defend everything which could come along. Roaches, 
You get one, two tanks and you are safe. And later on with the Reaper you jump in and see, okay are there the evil chambers, is there a bailing nest coming down, is there a lair starting or a spire. You just need to know if it's roaches or is it Ling Bling Mutalisk or Roach Bane all in. But Roach Bane all in can you hold super easily with tanks so that's fine. And yeah, what I'm doing now, as it looks like, is skipping upgrades in order to get units out because of the potential threat of those roaches. Because you can see, there are the evil chambers and two more extractors are coming down. I don't see the evils, but oh, the, oh that's so nice! I can scout everything with the Hellion. Sure, it won't deal any, any damage, but I see four gases now and a couple of roaches. But still... Oh, did I see that morphing? No! Okay. But it is in fact the 1-1 one, one Roach timing, I would say. Which is quite strong. And third player can transition out of that into Roach Hydra. Or they can go into Ling Bling Neutralist. And we will see what it's going to be the case. The most important part is, though, and you need to you need to be aware of that. If you see Roaches, uh, you should have two Marines, or maybe three, at patrol here. Yeah, there we go. Because of the potential of a Nidus Worm. You never know. He could have... He could, for example, have an Overlord Pooping Creep there, so that you don't scout it with the scan, put the Nidus Worm there, and then go for the Nidus in your main base. So that's why those Marines are there. Not for the Overlord, but for the potential of a Nidus Worm. And yeah, I'm getting now the upgrades. It's, it's not super crisp, of course. But because of the 1-1 one, one timing, which he isn't doing, he is droning up. So he's faking me a little bit there. But I need to stay defensive against the Roach Roach. And it's it's fine. It's it's okay. You can do this. It's not cool. But it's fine. Because those Roaches, they aren't that great. So if you're a bit slower, oh, I might get this kill on the Overseer. Yep, bye bye. That's that's the thing. Yes, he's droning up. Yes, he's he's putting myself myself back with that. But roaches aren't really good later on. They are just not good at all. And as soon as I can afford to move out and take my third place, I will do that, and then I will be fine. So I'm going for widow mines now. As I'm safe, the attack didn't occur. Um. And now I'm going for Widow Mines. That, that's not really good. I should really scan and see. Okay, Infestation Pit, still no Bailing Nest. So I know what's coming. Because blindly assuming it could be Ling Bling Mutilus, that's not good. There we go. I guess I cancelled the Widow Mines, did I? Yes. Going for more tanks. And more barracks. And a second factory. Still didn't go, uh, went for the third base. And... Worker wise, you can see it, I'm so bad. I'm not producing worker whatsoever. So I need to work on that again. Macro, very important. And there we go, Spire and Hive. And this, as well as. What's that? Pathogen Glance. And Missile Attack and Roach Speed. Interesting. Okay, so he denies the third base a little bit, he delays it. Very annoying. But I can't drop soon with the with the medivacs, and that's that's okay. That's that's totally okay, because roaches mm, and and hydro versus roach hydro, you can't drop like crazy. It's it's possible if you hit on uh, at three times at the same time, uh, at three locations at the same time. That's really helpful, and you can do it because mutalists are not out. You got just some roaches and hydros, and if he spreads. His units out, sure you can't do damage, but that means he can't move out, and you get enough time to raise your tank count even more. And that's also quite good then. You can go for a second starport behind it for, for Vikings to deal with the Viper, which might come along, or Brute Lords could also be the case. So that's totally fine. And in a situation like that, you need to stay defensive as Terran a little bit, and just be annoying with drops. I like that one fleece got uh, Overlord speed, that's really good. And my third base is really, really late. And he got a good bank. A huge bank. And I see the roaches with the 1-1. One, one. Killing the overseer again. It's fine. Oh, great aspire. So this means most likely boot lords. 
So no Ultralisks, but Brute Lords. And I guess Ultralisks would be just way better because look at that. Against Roach Hydra, I would be way too heavy on Marines. So finally I switched it up to produce four Marauder and a bunch of Marines at the same time. And there we go, dropping around just a little bit. Double Medivac drop. I never touched the creep. His creep spread could be way better. At least I got a marine there, which is not killing that one. Okay. His overlord spread is good. He got spore crawler in oh, okay position. He sees the medivac. Will he react to it in time? That's that's the question. So and I'm still not maxed. I'm finally raising my tank count. Uh, taking another base. I could take out this gas, that would be nice. And there are the roaches. And there's the other drop, so... Uh, he should be able to kill. Oh, don't show your infestors! He shows them. Uh, I guess wasting the energy was not really good here. Uh, one worker died so far. I'm not dealing any damage here, just scouting around, seeing a lot of roaches, 2-2. Two -two. And that's it. I didn't see the greater spire. Not quite yet, no. So I have no clue that brute lords are coming. Uh, the upgrades for brute lords are not good. We got no upgrades on them. So yeah, and I'm just producing more barracks. And there, oh, a second starport. <gasps> Ooh, I'm getting a second starport. That's very helpful. And I'm moving out. I maxed out. My army supply is looking good. The upgrades are eh, not good. Oh, yeah, you can't attack into that. <laughs> Ah, the roach! Bams! Okay, so how many tanks are there? Ten tanks. That's that's good. With ten tanks, you can work. But there are brute lords. Eight brute lords, and they are they are strong. I don't see them yet. But that's that's the thing because of the brute lords. Okay, there are there are a couple of roaches, and now I see the brute lords, and that's that's difficult because tanks are not good against brute lords. Oh, the Infestor really helping there. Brutlord Infestor. I like that. I really like it. It's, uh, you rarely see it. But there's a counter attack. A small force is going to downwards. And that drop. Killing a lot here. Yeah, dealing with the Roaches. 2-2. Two -two, still not finished. Uh, he's clearing all the tanks. But at the same time, he has to defend. Back at home. Three Marines. They can deal a lot of damage. And he's losing that base. And he's coming back. I would love to have his Brutlords attack and the Roaches go back to defend or or otherwise. But now he's just staying with the Roaches here, he needs to do something. Drones are battling those Marines, not really good, he loses this base. Uh, the gold base not taken, he takes another one there. Mm, but still... Ah, uh, he might lose another hatchery there. He loses the Queen. Oh yeah, if I focus fire that one, which I will do for sure. He loses the hatchery! Ah, it goes down! And there are, the, there are the roaches, finally. Look at his bank! Oh god, but he lost so much there. There's another drop. Oh wow, tanks. Hi there. If I could get the hive, that would be huge. And behind that, I'm producing a lot of stuff. I guess I won't get the hive, but I get it quite low. Will I save the tanks? No, I commit completely to that. The problem is, okay, he's producing more and more stuff. He got 70 lava left, but he's on uh, two hatcheries. That's not a lot for Zerg. You need lava to produce units. So, killing all those bases was... Ooh. Okay, wait, I killed just that one. No, two bases. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, Stint Marines. He's not paying too much attention there. Losing some Brute Lords against Marines. Yeah, he can clear it, but... Ah, uh, lost some brute lots there, three in total. And I'm staying here. Viking oh, there are the Vikings. And now I can take out all those brute lots. The upgrades, not too good here. But yeah, he has to put back those brute lots. I guess he should just commit to them. And because they die anyway. But he tries to rescue them with the corruptor. He got his upgrades aren't too good on his flying units either. So that's a mistake. Uh, oh, he tries to fungle them, doesn't he? Oh, Marines! They are good against Corruptor. Dealing a lot of damage. And now the Brute Lords are too low in number to deal with the Marines. Ah, he lost all that stuff. He got not too much gas left, so he can produce maybe one more round of, of Brute Lords and then that's it. 
The tanks are dealing so much damage to those roaches. Like 60 damage, 55. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Very good fungal, but he wasn't able to chain fungal and he might lose all this infestor. The problem is he didn't get burrow, which could have helped if there was no scan available. Uh, run by with that marine. Oh, almost gets extracted. Not gonna happen here. 3-3 three, three on the way for me, and he's still on 2-2. Two, two. Oh, that's not good. He lost a lot of drones in the process in this game as well. 19. So he, n he never remade them. Uh, he still... S the, the, the problem is, Corruptor are not good against Bio, because they can't shoot down. And so far his units are just a bunch of Roaches and a bunch of Corruptor. And that's it. And he produced, I guess, too many Corruptor. He's gassed stuff. Can't produce Brute Lords. And he lost his Infestor as well. And yeah, Roaches are just not really good. That's, that's that. Uh, all those Vikings. They're so strong. The most interesting part now for me is I can go and kill Overlords all over the place. And there are a couple of them, of those on the map. So I can see... Yeah, I, I'm searching for them. Hunt and seek. And there we go. Bye bye Overlords. Overlords are indeed armored, so they take the extra damage from the uh, Lancer torpedoes. And that will horribly supply campaign. He's fighting with the Corruptor. And Corruptor are decent against Vikings. They are quite good. They can trade equal, but I just got the, the numbers in my favor now. And they yeah, are fighting above the Sparkle, not too good, but it doesn't matter at all. I can't just straight up kill everything. He's producing circlings. Without the speed upgrade, that's not gonna help. I'll take out the gold base as well. And yeah. Slow circlings! Woo! They might even be able to clear that. Oh god, okay. But yeah, that's that's game. He's producing a couple of roaches, but the next attack will hit soon. I just got so much stuff. Even starting the Heisek auto tracking and the building armor for Terran. <laughs> Those slow circlings, man. He's now getting speed! 25 minutes speed, 24 minutes speed. Lol. So, yeah. Uh, he might f be able to force the lift off, but it's 3 3 against 2 2. He's now starting the, the Hydralisk then, but he can't mine whatsoever. He can't mine. Uh, Infestor might get taken out there. Oh no. Okay, so I can't land that over the command there. For now, but... I really like the idea of going Brute Lords, but... Ah, uh, it's, it's difficult, because they are not that good, to be honest. I, I just think Ultralists are better. Not not against, maybe not against Mech, but definitely against Bio. The, those fungus are super good, but in the end, it just doesn't matter. I just got so much stuff. Multi-prong attack again. There we go. GG will play this called, and I was victorious. Cool. So that's how you can play Zerg versus Terran. Very interesting. But he never really touched me. And although I was super late with my upgrades and my third base, uh, he was super passive. I think he should have committed to the 2 2 Road Hydra timing instead of going for super fast Brute Lords. Because the, the 2 2 Road Hydra timing hits at. Pff, 12 minutes, 13 minutes with 2-2 two, two and uh, maxed out? And if your opponent doesn't have 6 to 8 tanks and a bunch of stuff and bunkers and holds the third bay or the natural, which one ever gets attacked, that's the next difficult part to be not out of position, then Terran just loses, but yeah. Okay, with that said, thank you again so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I wish you a very nice day and 